Hey guys, what is going on? Uh, it's Green Insane, and um, uh, today we've got a Cinema 4D tutorial. And um, uh, don't mind my don't mind my voice. It's kind of I don't know I have a cold or something, so uh, never mind that. So uh, this tutorial will be about Cinema 4D and some basic stuff about that. And um, uh, yeah, so let's get started. This is our main screen, and well, I found I found uh, Cinema 4D a bit hard to understand at the beginning. So uh, this tutorial can be really helpful if you're new to Cinema 4D. So let's start with these bars. We have the file. Uh, you can open or create a new document pro of, uh, or project or save it. Uh, you can even export it or quit the program. The edit tool, I think it's clear. Uh, I don't re really use uh, these uh, buttons basically because I don't understand them that well. Uh, the only button you will need from this is MoGraph, text object or other objects. And with this you can create uh, objects. And that's about it at this bar. The next bar, is, you will need uh, these three buttons for sure. This is the the pre-render button thingy. So it basically renders your screen, what you have right now. This is the uh, really rendering, so uh, rendering all frames. Uh, and this is your render settings. You can change the output. I recommend you to use 1280 by 720 basically because it's just HD on YouTube. Uh, save, you can save it as different formats, as a different file name, you name it. Uh, also, when you choose PNG and you switch the alpha straight alpha on, you can create a uh, text and then the background will not be rendered so you have a transparent background that's really useful for I don't know uh, text in you know, Photoshop most parts you won't really need this won't really need this either um, the options no, I rather don't touch this the effect uh, the only effect I use is the ambient occlusion it's basically just generating shadows and uh, you can play around with this oh the, um, make sure to turn the contrast on, but uh, I'll leave that. Um, you have this, this is just a shape, and you can, you know, play around with it. Uh, yeah, there's just some shapes where you can play around with. Um, this you won't really need, and this is just making a 3D. Um, you won't really need this either, or oh, well, you can use it, but I don't use it. And then we've come to this. This is an important part. Oh, whoops. Uh, this is the light. Uh, you, you can drag it or well, place it anywhere you want. And it, well, it does what it says. It generates a light. Uh, a floor, which just generates a floor. And as you can see, we pre render it. And this light will be here with the floor included. But let's just delete that. Uh, and we've got, I don't know, background. You name it. And you won't really need this, and you won't really need this either. So, uh, yeah, let's just make a basic 3D text. Let's go to MoGraph, text object. So, we've got our text object right here. And in this right hand corner, we can change some properties of the object. So, let's name it, I don't know, let's be really basic and name it oh, tutorial. And let's increase the depth to around 60. So we've got our 3D text. Oh, with this tools you can, you know, place the camera like a different perspective. So like that. Just and we can <coughs> change the font type. So let's go to font. Uh, you might not have all the fonts I am using right now. But um, I'll just choose a fancy one if it will load. Okay, so what we what have we got here? Um, this is really standard. So let's just use this one. I've used it before. Okay, that wasn't good. Let's just use Bbas. I think this looks kind of cool. 
and right away we've got our text object as you can see and to give it you know when you pre-render it like this it has a kind of you know shell but let's just generate a floor and stretch it up like this and it will generate the floor okay so when you want to give it a color or reflection you go to materials here and we double click in this space double click it again and then you can change the color to about I don't know let's just make it blue and uh, trans uh, you know let's just make it lighter and you can change the reflection and set it to zero texture for now this will create a more fancy glossy look reflection let's change that to about 40% uh, you shouldn't touch these so what we do we drag our material onto our tutorial and then it will generate a, you know color on it and let's just I don't know um, so that's a bit materials what we can do is you know when you want to create create an animation what you may want to do is uh, you can do two things. You can change the camera perspective, or you can, you know, play around with the X, C, and Y axis of this thingy. But I think the camera is a little bit more complicated, so let's just do that. Okay. So what we are going to do? We go to cameras. C oh, cameras. And uh, what am I doing wrong? I don't know. Okay, um, oh yeah, um, da, 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 oh yeah, you go to this button where the light and the floor was already, right. and we go to camera, this will create a new camera, and then we go to cameras, scene camera, camera. Okay, so we're now in our camera, and we can play around with it, so let's just say we want to go, uh, I don't know, past the text, like... Okay, so at keyframe zero, we go choose the camera, and then we place it like over here. Okay, and then we go to keyframe I don't know thirty, and we change the um, we change the coordinates of the camera to about eight hundred. Now a little bit more uh, of less. 300 okay let's just make it 100 then let's just make it I don't know minus 90 okay oh my god <clears throat> okay like that so what we have now is I forgot to set a keyframe sorry sorry guys but um what you should do go to keyframe zero place it again at what was it again 1700 something okay and click Control, click, and this will create a keyframe right over there. Then we go to 30, and change it to what I did, minus 100, minus 200, and click it again. Control, left click it again, and this will create a keyframe. So what if we play this now? We have like, boom, tutorial. And uh, let's just say we want the camera to go to, let's go to 50. And then change the Z axis to about the uh, this to about 100. So the axis just a little more. Okay, and Control click it, and this will just create a keyframe for all this. And then go to 80 and change the Z axis to 100. Oh no, not 100. And uh, zero, not zero, minus 300. Minus 200. Okay. Like this. And then we want the x axis to be around. Let's just make it this. Like this. Okay. And then control click. And this will create a keyframe. And let's just look what we have right now. Boom. And then, okay. So we've got our animation. And well, that's basically every 
thing of the basics what I wanted to explain to you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment below. Uh, I think I will make another Cinema 4D tutorial. And um, uh, comment what you want to see about Cinema 4D or any other program. And I think I will see you guys later.